Hey everybody, it's Pat here. I'm back. It's day 18. This is tip number 18. And again, I'm sharing from the this article that I read at New Year's. 100 ways to get healthier in the new year. And I particularly love today's tip. I'm actually sitting on the floor in my office by my bookshelf. I wanted to show you something. But first, let me read the tip as written in this article. And it's talking about... <laughs> I lost my spot on the page. Just have a look at my books while I'm looking this up again. La la la. Have gratitude. Here we go. I even had it circled. Can you imagine? That's just so funny. Anyway, have gratitude. And what it says is, studies have shown that taking time to think about what you're thankful for can help improve your mental health and self-esteem. Being grateful. So why am I down here on the floor? Many of you who know me know that I have been keeping a gratitude journal for years. This is number 24. This book I saw introduced on the Oprah show 24 years ago when she was interviewing Sarah Van Brothnack. I hope I got that name right. And they were talking about this habit, this tactic. And I remember Oprah saying, I'm going to try that. And I thought, then I'm going to try that. Let me just say this. An attitude of gratitude and keeping a gratitude journal is a life-changing habit, a life-changing practice. Now, what I hear from many people is, well, I'm just not sure, you know, what to be grateful about. What's that mean? What does that look like? What I love about this book in particular, let me pull this up for you. If you go get this book, you're going to see that in the beginning, can you see it here? Yeah. 150 often overlooked blessings. 150 often overlooked blessings. Now, if that's not a kickstart to get your mind and gear around gratitude, I don't know what is. So the way the journal is laid out, you write down five things each day for which you're grateful. Here's some examples. Feeling the presence of spirit in your life. Not having to cook tonight. When hope is restored. I want to give you a variety here. Be grateful for the kindness of strangers. Holding your child in your arms. The fragrance of a vacation day. Trying something new and loving it. The desire for knowledge. And one of my favorites, watching the sunset. It gets really easy. And here's what happens. When you get in the habit of writing in a gratitude journal every night, five things, when you get up in the morning, your mind starts to work that way. You just start looking for and recognizing things throughout the day. So that for me, when I sit down at the end of my day and I'm writing in my gratitude journal, then it's been really easy because that's where my mind focuses. And I also keep these visible. So let me get this down here. See? Right here. 24 years of gratitude. Right there in front of my face in my office. And so I'm grateful for you, my audience, who tune in every day for the tip. Hit the share button. This one's especially important, I believe, to get out into the population and let people start thinking this way. And I read, actually in the first of that book, the greatest prayer ever is to say thank you. So thank you for listening. Hit share. I'll be back tomorrow, day 19, tip number 19, as we work our way to 100. Make it a good day and go find something to be grateful for. In fact, write it below. What's one thing you are grateful for today? See you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.